fighting the defending champion, uh, this guy named uh, Pet Archon Jitmanunk from like two road times previous gym was. Um, and he was the former Isuzu tournament winner um, and the uh, defending uh, champion. I think he won the, the tournament a couple of months before I fought him. So I was a huge underdog. I remember they were telling me at the, the stadium that the bet was like the odds were like seven to one. So like everyone thought I was just gonna get destroyed by this guy because uh, he had quite a name for himself and like no one really knew me, you know. Um, and so we went in again, five round fight. Um, Got a nice and easy round one and two, and then in round three we just went at it. And this guy is a warrior, bro. Like he comes at you, and like in round three I knocked him down twice. I caught him with a the head kick and an elbow, and I saw then that. down he got up, <clears throat> and then I got him with the left straight. So I'm like hook straight, boom, like on his jaw, I went down and got back up, bro. Like whatever I hit him with. He would just get back up, he got up, I did a teeth to the face, and like he just went back, and then again, he kept coming, bro. In round four or five, he knew he was behind, so like he just kept coming, bro. And I was like, I knew I've done enough to win, I just need to like, you know, move around and survive the round, and I would take the win. So in round five, I was just like, blocking again, he was just pop, pop, he was going at him. So it was, it was such a war, bro, that fight. Um, but yeah, definitely one of the highlights of my career. And then a few months after that, um, they were like, yo, we got you in the Thai fight tournament. So it's a tournament and then for the Brazilian guy in the semis and then in the finals, I had the, the Thai guy, right? Um, and yeah, that was such a special fight because, uh, I mean, it was prestige because it was like the last uh, trophy from King Rama um, nine and um, and all that. But I think uh, the whole lead up to the fight and I remember like doing that tournament, I was training a lot with Nam Kab Wan, uh, who was had one of probably one of the best teachers I've ever worked with. And, not only that, he was a legend, like, of the sport, you know, and it was so humble, and um, that's the thing, like, he just, like, wanted to help me so much, because, you know, when you're in Thailand, like, most Thai trainers, all they want is your money, right? Yeah, it's so they tough. Don't really give a sh they, they don't give a shit about you, like, for example, my last fight, the guy who was training me, like, he got more money, and, like, from someone else he decided not even to corner me he bailed at like 5 a.m i was like supposed to go to the stadium at 5 30 like fuck oh so i don't have a corner you know like so like you know these guys all they want is money so uh this guy like now come on bro he never even like i was trying to pay him and he would be like nah nah keep your money it's okay like he would mm -hmm. stay back till late bro the gym was shut like it was dark 7 8 p.m at tiger muay thai Everyone's at home, like, this guy is there sitting, telling me stories, like, showing me stuff in the ring. It was mad. And then, uh, yeah, so, like, and I remember right right before um, we fought that day, we went for lunch, and he was like, you know, let me tell you something. He's like, no matter what happens tonight, uh, don't lose hope and just keep fighting to the last second because... In a Muay Thai fight, anything can happen, right? He's like, don't give up and fight till the bell rings because that's when the fight's over. And I was like, yeah, yeah, cool, you know what I mean? It's uh, when the fight, we, we got knocked down, bro, in the first round. I was like controlling the fight and boom, I got caught with the left hook. I went down, I popped right back up, but I got a count. And you know, you're like, fuck, they were screwed. Like, of a five round fight though, minutes. right? Three round fight, so like it's a major fuck up if you get knocked down. Oh, there. you can't get knocked down in a three round fight, dog. Yeah, bro. So like in round two and three, I just came out blazing, and this guy, he, all he wanted to do was not fight and just like survive and win the fight. And bro, we just kept going, 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 and like 
the last freaking second of the fight, I landed a head kick and he went down. And as soon as he got back up, the bell rang. Ding, 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 ding. And I was like, was that enough? Like, did, no. did we get it? Did we not? And like, when they announced the winner, I was just like, fuck, like, it was crazy, bro. Wow. And then the whole team jumped in the ring and like, yeah, it was madness, bro. But then... Is that the one where you won like, the Toyota? Where you won the truck? Uh, the King's Cup. The, yeah, I won the Toyota truck. Took like a bunch of pictures with the key outside the stadium. <laughs> we're like, yeah. And then afterwards, I was like, yo, where's my truck? We're like, no. The ties get the truck. You don't. I'm like, yo, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like no, Sanchai and Kitty get the truck, but you don't because you're not Thai. I'm like... How does that even make sense? And why did you make me take pictures with it? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> take your bloody key and get out of here. They love to do that. Uh, the ties, they love the photos and stuff, you know? Yeah, so like, um, but then like, we, bro, we had no idea what was coming our way, bro. And 